Hello folks, so this is uh, paper 11 May June 2019 and the question number is uh, 10. So this question belongs to we can say kinematics, we can say dynamics, we can say forces because it is concerned with the graph of distance and time but uh, uh, we have to uh, div uh, we have to know uh, cons concepts of uh, forces here. So a stone is dropped from a tall building where air resistance is significant. So it means uh, air resistance varies the affects the motion of the body the variation of distance fallen with time is shown by the dashed line so this is the this is the graph here a second stone with same dimensions but a smaller mass is dropped from the same building so a second body second stone of the same dimensions but to a smaller mass smaller mass so which line represents the motion of the se uh, second stone so one thing that we have to remember here is when our body is dropped from uh, dropped to uh, through air or through a density medium the variation of uh, displacement or distance will be somewhat like this first let us go to the velocity so if we talk of the velocity what happens is uh, initially the velocity is zero then it rises raises but uh, as uh, mm, it uh, increases the value of opposing force increases and that's why this uh, mm, decreases a this uh, increases a uh, sorry this decreases a actually the resultant force decreases so if a decreases the slope of vt graph becomes lesser and lesser ultimately what happens is uh, the resultant force becomes zero which means a is zero and v should be constant so ultimately v should be constant like this so from here to here what happens is the rate of change of v goes on decreasing 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 and so on until the rate becomes zero rate zero means the slope is zero if so the graph of st will be somewhat like this somewhat like this now so what we can do here is s here uh, we should know that v equal to v equal to slope of slope of st graph so i use this concept uh, uh, while teaching the class as well so v equal to slope of st graph so here what happens is Initially V is 0. V is 0 means here the slope of ST graph should be 0. Finally V is constant. That means the slope of ST graph should be constant. The slope should be constant. Constant, constant, constant. And from here to here the value of V increases. So that means if V increases the slope of ST graph should also increase. So it must increase like this. Increase, 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 increase and then it becomes constant. Increase, increase and then it becomes constant. So S should vary somewhat like this. Its slope increases, but later the slope becomes constant. So if you look at the, this graph, it's perfect. It's perfect. So straight line here, straight line here, and here is curve. Now, if we have a second stone of same member, smaller mass. So when mass is small, when mass is small, the drift velocity will be less. So, so let us say the uh, terminal velocity will be less, not drift actually the terminal velocity should be less so velocity less means that uh, the graph nature of graph should be like this should be like this but uh, this slope should be less v less means this slope should be less so the only two things where the slope is less are c and d so b disqualifies and a also disqualifies the only now tussle is in between uh, c and d now if you look at the graph here this d is a straight line graph which means that uh, the slope is constant slope constant means that v is constant right from the beginning which is not true so the only true graph is choice number c here because it resembles this path so initially the slope increases increases increases, increases, increases and from here the slope is constant so slope constant means the velocity has become constant here it increases means that velocity was still increasing so that's why choice number c should be the correct choice c should be the correct choice